Hi there. This is a Pedal Pro BTR102 Turbo Trainer. I think that's what you call them. It's got a magnetic resistance mechanism which is supposed to increase your workload when you're using this as a cycle trainer. This is apparently is a genuine Pedal Pro. It's all marked Pedal Pro, came in a Pedal Pro box. It doesn't work. The magnetic resistance doesn't work. It's adjustable here. You've got six settings. And what it should do is adjust the distance between the magnet and that metal serrated disc thing. So when I adjust it, the magnet should move closer to increase the resistance. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't move in or move out in any of the settings. It doesn't affect the load for pedaling. So it's therefore faulty in some way. There seem to be quite a few of these. People complaining it doesn't do anything. It's a simple mechanism. The cable should pull on the mechanism and push the magnet closer. So when you take it apart, which I will do now, which is easily done, even one-handed, three screws on the other side this thing here is a flywheel it's just a big metal weighted flywheel which obviously helps with whatever so this thing just comes off in here is a magnetic disc and that's the steel disc which should obviously get more resistance as the magnet gets closer in my mind anyway so if we adjust the cable I was looking at this again sorry it's just one handed or cat handed this is currently set on 6 which I presume should be the highest resistance so if I turn it all the way to 1 focus rotates the magnet but there should be some sort of mechanism which puts the magnet closer it just rotates it if you take the whole thing apart in here is just a spring connected to the metal disc to get it to return and the cable just rotates a plastic thing there's no wedge mechanism or any other mechanism that puts it closer to the spinning reluctant wheel thing. Pedal Pro themselves seem to think it's faulty. I can't return it to Pedal Pro because I didn't buy it from them, I bought it from somebody on eBay. So I wonder if somehow the manufacturers in China have basically sent a load of rubbish over to the UK. This is my belief, I cannot prove it. Somebody can help me, tell me what's wrong with it. That would be great, but in the meantime, it's not really much use, is it? Anyway, I'll do that later. So, yeah, there you go. Beware, some of them don't work. If it doesn't work, as it should, it's obviously faulty.